hi friends in this video we will see about how to use and function and or function and uh, what is the and function and what is the or function so and function is nothing but it will uh, give the result as true if all the conditions are matches all the conditions are possible and our condition is nothing but if it will give the result as true if any one condition becomes true then it will give the true but uncondition it should matches all the condition all the condition becomes true then only the result will be true now i have the data like this i have a student mark in all five subjects so I want to uh, check if the student get all uh, in all subject he cross over 35 pass mark then the student uh, will be pass else the student will be fail now I am using and condition and checking this and uh, checking whether the student is pass or not so and 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 synthesis we need to check the logical one logical two logical three like that we can check uh, n number of logical conditions so i'm checking the first subject greater than or equal to 35 and second subject greater than or equal to 35 like that i'm checking all the five subjects Sorry, uh, one more thing I want to, one more condition I need to add. Okay, so now you can say, you can see it is checking all the condition and it, it is giving the result as true. Instead of true, you need pass or fail. Then how to get that pass or fail here? We need to add one more function called if then in the syntax of if is we need to check the logical test so we already checked through and function so i am taking as a test and if this and function become true what will be the result it that will be pass we have to put the pass in double quotation If it is a fail, then fail. So now I am copy pasting this formula to all over, all over the 17 rows. So now I am getting the uh, student status whether the student is pass or fail. So this is the way we can use the and condition. So uncondition is nothing but if all the condition becomes true then it will give the result as true. Now I am using or condition. So if uh, we have the logic like if any one of the subject cross over 35 the student will be pause. Then we can use the or condition. So the same formula only we can use. We can, I am just copying the uh, formula in uncondition and uh, I'm just pasting here and I'm replacing the and to R the R function again the synthesis same logical one logical two logical three but either any one logical uh, condition is true it will give the result as true else it will give the false so if it is uh, giving the result true then it we will get as false else fail now you could see the entire status will become changed. Uh, we will have only one fail since the student got less than 35 in all the subject. Okay, so this is the way uh, we can use the AND and OR condition. Uh, now I want to show you uh, each individual subject whether student pass or not in one single formula itself. So how 
we can so so we can put the formula in one cell it will give the result for all the five subject in five different cell how it will be so we need to use the formula called if and the logical test it will be this the array uh, selection we have to select we have to i'm just selecting c2 to g2 as a array and i'm just cross checking whether it is crossover 35 then it will give us pause in each subject else it will give the fail wherever the mark less than 35 now you could see i'm getting the result for all the five subject and you can see the fail it will show all fail marks since the student got less than 35 so this is the array mode of formula we have to use in the logical condition otherwise you have to use the if condition for each and every cell c2 greater than 35 and here g2 d2 greater than 35 and here again e2 greater than 35 instead of avoiding the each individual formula i'm just putting the array formula and i can paste here overall so this is a way we have to use and and or and some array logical test in if condition uh, i so this is the array logical if condition with array formula array logical test so i hope this will be very useful to you and if you have any doubts you can mention in comment i will explain in the next video thank you so much